In today's society, we see many different dominant ideologies through our media, such as meritocracy, individualism, white savior, and the culture of poverty theory. In this podcast, I want to focus on the dominant ideology of the white savior, and I want to talk about who benefits from this and who is harmed by this. To start off, I should introduce you to what the white savior is. We typically see the white savior in many of our popular films. A white savior film is a movie that features a white person coming into the lives of a person or people of color who is often low income, troubled, or severely oppressed. The troubled times that the people of color are in can be a product of the oppression from other white folks or their own doing. Either way, the white savior comes in, quickly sympathizes with the problems of the people of color, learning what needs to happen to solve their problems, and in doing so, wins their favor and becomes the hero. Here are some examples of films that you've most likely seen that fall under the white savior film category. The Blind Side, Finding Forrester, Freedom Riders, Dangerous Minds, and many more. Let's take a look at the first part of our essential question. Who is benefiting from this dominant ideology? In my personal opinion, I feel that non-people of color or white people benefit from this dominant ideology. When audiences view these films, they help alleviate feelings of white guilt by projecting white people not as the oppressors, but as the heroes who can save people of color from their circumstances, and often the oppression that whites in the past have caused. Essentially, these films capitalize on the stories of people of color. Instead of telling the film through their eyes, they are presented as stories of the white people who help them. On the other hand, I feel that this dominant ideology hurts people of color. People of color in these films are portrayed as too desolate, too helpless to overcome by their own prejudices and circumstances to help themselves. So they need someone to help them. I feel that these films are made to make the white man look good and they're just reinforcing a racist stereotype that white people are better than black people. Although these films may do well in the box office and receive positive feedback from the audiences, I don't feel that the meaning behind these films is right, and people need to be aware of that. Hollywood does not really care about the meaning that they have behind their films. They just want to make money off of them. They have a greater interest in the stories of heroic white people saving people of color than stories of people of color helping their own communities or people of color helping white people out of bad situations. I feel that this is giving off a bad message to society and filling people's minds with stereotypes that aren't true. In conclusion, I feel that this dominant ideology helps non-people of color because it portrays them as saviors and heroes, while people of color are being harmed by this ideology because they are being portrayed as unmotivated and unable to do things on their own without the help of the white man. I don't feel that these movies should stop being made, but the people watching them should be made aware of the white savior narrative so they don't believe the stereotype to be true.